My name is Whitney Gill. Uh, well, everyone's always had three dimensions on their boards, length, width, and thickness. And nowadays, everyone's starting to put fourth dimension, which is the volume or the flotation of the board. It's how much the board floats you, and what's the appropriate board for your body weight is the key. Because little guys obviously want less foam than bigger guys. Uh, we're, we're talking flotation. That does not necessarily volume. We're talking materials. Well, there, the flotation is a result of the amount of foam in the board and the weight of the board. So if it's real light EPS foam, it's going to weigh less, so it's going to float a little bit higher than polyfoam. But there's a very small difference between those two on short boards. On bigger boards, it becomes more significant. So we still have to make a decision. We're going to go short and wide. We're going to go long and skinny. Where are we going to go? That's true. That's true. Um, you have to have some ideas there. My calculator will tell you which is the appropriate board for your body weight, depending on the waves. On Friday, when it was 12 feet here, most of the pros were riding 41% of their body weight on their boards. Today, most of the pros are riding 35% of their body weight. So if you go on the LOSS website right now, and you can click in your body weight, and you can get your guild factor, which is I'm Whitney Guild, the GF, is 0.41 on a 12-foot day. The GF on a 5-foot day is 0.35 for a pro surfer. If you're an older guy, you're going to move your GF up a little bit depending on your body weight and your age. It'll all go up a little bit. So what's the, how do we get to the web, website? Uh, LostSurfboards.net. You can click on the volume calculator. Okay, say hello. Aloha.